everyone. Thank you for checking out the Corporation Superstation. I am here with Skullface and Odd Mimic from Astora Protocol. What's up, guys? Hello, how are you? Hey, guys, what's going on? Anyway, uh, as you can see, we've got quite the uh, feat of engineering up in space here. Uh, you'll see kind of the large section running through the center. Those are all fuel tanks for the orbital gas station. On the bottom left, there's kind of like a mining uh, refinery section. On the top, that kind of bulbous cupola thing, and that is a space hotel for space tourism. And then kind of out the back there, you'll see the centrifuges, which are uh, greenhouses for space farming or space drugs, I don't know, and habitation. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and uh, keep checking it out if you want to see the build of the video. Anyway, so here is uh, the launching of one of the fuel sections, as you can see. It's a little big. It's quite big, <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's... And it's, it's funny because this is like the design that all of my ships inevitably revert to. It's like this weird sort of like... Giant penis. It's a giant penis with a cross on top, so it's like a religious <laughs> penis, and then like a ton, a ton of boosters. But anyway, it does make it to orbit, and what you're seeing now is it's sped up about like a thousand percent or something. Um, yeah, right now oh the God. frame the frame rate isn't too bad now, but uh, at the beginning of the video, it was I was getting about one to four frames per second with the whole station loaded. Kind of ridiculous, <laughs> but We're it's all looking station. Thank you, thank you. It's all manually docked, all all lovingly. Crafted oh, by hand, yeah. And how long would you say this may have taken you? Uh, I want to say like 12 hours, probably. Oh, oh damn. Yeah. Wow. All right. Well, yeah, you have more take. patience than myself. <laughs> yeah, you're seeing you're seeing some uh, the designing of the uh, habitation module right now. Uh, so like I n I never really knew how to build things like with centrifuges. So I actually downloaded a mod, uh, the robotics parts mod, uh, check it out in the description below. Um, but it just gives you like a couple parts that actually move. Um, there's like a, a rotating, uh, uh, what do you call it, like airlock or whatever, which is basically the only moving part on the whole ship, and that's, like, well, that's what creates well, the rotation. Well, it rotates. Uh, color me impress impressed. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just amazed that it keeps up right during like leaving the atmosphere though. Yeah, me too, man. I mean enough struts, thrusters and thrusters will get just about anything into orbit, as I'm sure you know. Uh, just, just, just gentle gentle docking. This is like the first thing I this is the first thing I ever built as soon as I learned how to dock stuff. So like that center module and then like one of the gas tanks was the first thing that I, I, I ever actually docked in space. I can never, can never figure it out, but now you're now you're seeing the building of the greenhouse module. Um, so I'm using uh, and, and same with the habitation module. The things on the end, those are um, planetary. That's from a planetary base mod. So uh, the whole idea is that the centrifuge spins and creates gravity in it, and it simulates kind of the gravity of a planet so they're able to have these space farms oh and then here uh the final piece is the launching of the mining node yeah a bunch so of tanks anyway thanks for watching guys uh if you want to see more kerbal videos or see me do something crazy with the space station like launch a colony ship or i don't know uh deorbit it and watch it explode uh like and subscribe and leave your comments below thanks